My name is Bahailu. I'm from Education Strategic Center. Uh, I am an IT expert, actually. Uh, by profession, I am educator. And I'm working as a researcher in the Education Strategic Center. Uh, these are the outlines of my presentations. And I have background, scientific problem, work done during LEGO SACFEST, result achieved so far, future plans, and summary and conclusion. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm working here in Education Strategic Center, which is located in Sadiskilo. Here is our building. Education Strategic Center, actually, before it established as Education Strategic Center, it was Higher Education Strategic Center. It, it initiates policy strategy to, so as to make higher education more quality. And now we, we become ASK. We have these mandates. I mean, was a view of transforming the quality and strategy of the education and training of the country to achieve higher level. I mean, uh, we, have, uh, we initiate policies and strategies. In addition to that, we serve as a reliable national center for database. Uh, some of the works which we have done so far, this is one, uh, female faculty and leadership. Uh, this is Ethiopian staff development strategy in higher education towards more entrepreneurial universities in Ethiopia. The status and driving factors for completion rates in primary school education in Ethiopia. Analysis of teachers demand and supply in Ethiopia. Magnitude determinant factor and possible remedies. And we have uh, conducted two international workshops. On uh, One is with higher education, the other is with national qualification framework. And we, we, why, why I mention those all things? You know, we, have we, we do research. So we have many literary works. Uh, for example, among the, the works that currently we are doing a 50 years education roadmap. This is a 50 years education book roadmap is done by like 36 PhD and above university teachers in Ethiopia. And what they do, they, uh, we have six thematic areas. The first one is primary and pre-primary. The second one is secondary. And the, the third one is higher education, TVT, teachers education and policy and governance. So, in this roadmap, we have approaches. The first approach is uh, disk review. When we review the disk with this all 36 pages and above stuff, we have got many materials, I mean, many literary works. And uh, at this time, what we initiated to have an e-library. For those materials, those which I mentioned, and there are also others, just to have one, our own one e-library for ask first for education strategies, then we, th we think of it and scaling up to the Ethiopian level. Uh, so what are the problems so far we faced? We have faced the problems with different sides. The first one is faced by researchers. There is fragmented resource locations. I, I mean, as an IT, uh, you guys are an IT expert. If you got a chance to attend any conferences, you can see people from Bahadur University do the same thing that with the same title and the same approach, the same topic, and the other university, for example, in Adama University. So the, we have resources, but we use unwisely. This is one problem. The other is lack of streamlined thematic research. Plagiarism, I think, this is, I think you guys are familiar with plagiarism. Uh, nowadays, you know, before te five or six years back, bachelor degrees, Thesis, I mean, bachelor thesis was copied from one university to other university, but currently even master's thesis. We have uh, lots of plagiarisms. Dif with the same program, we, ha we can have a copy of similar topics and similar, I mean, similar master thesis. As this is one reason to initiate this. The other is intellectual property right, and the other is lack of metadata within the document search. We have those old documents, but we, we, we face a challenge to search. And the other is global visibility. I think uh, Roberto mentioned this a lot. E Ethiopian, we need Ethiopian authors to be known globally. This is the, the problem that we face. The other is a problem faced by universities, replication of similar resources, uh, realization of harmonized curriculum. If you know, uh, we are organizing more than like 165 programs in <laughs> harmonization. We harmonize these modules. We have different courses across different universities. Uh, 
uh, these all courses are harmonized and there is harmonization is done by our center but we face the challenge so we have the same similar uh, curriculum but we have different teachers i mean if you go to the like samara for example very remote and mostly they are, we have bachelor bachelor holders and if you come to here there are phd holders and good experience and, and well known distinguished professors are here therefore so as to uh, create i mean a kind of uh, like so as to fill the gaps of like summer and the remote universities we need to have uh, a mock i mean we need to have a course we need to have uh, teachers at least if you don't have a teachers everywhere similar teachers at least we need to have uh, lectures of similar i mean close to similar i mean related with that course that is another issue the other one is an instructor's quality gap as i mentioned low course content quality within private actually not within private within public as well there is there is this all initiated the present use case so the uh, as i mentioned we have done a lots of research we have many papers many projects so this all collected analyzed articles from education research projects are considered as valuable resource for further exploration uh, as a result since we have these all documents so we need to have one one database or one uh, e-library which everyone can easily access this and we intend to have to, to we have two objectives an overview of ebook freely available accessible online globally sharing digital content by creating an online library on education so how we do it uh, this is the method actually this is done before we went to the uh, legos how we are going to do is we will clone it to the SciGuy open access repositories uh, and DOI I think uh, you, you heard DOI before actually and this is how we are going to do it how we have done it then this is for the mock then doing this we submitted the uh, use case so I am no I'm non IT expert totally Yosef was I think ma majority of them you know Yosef he was with me then we went to Lagos then we have done this actually this is why mock it is the importance of mock sharing teaching material for specific subjects increasing accessibility of learnings pedagogical assistant as i told you there is young and distinguished professors increase cost efficiency due to this reason we develop the the use case so what is the expected output of the use case federated e library and mock platform then when we go to Lagos, we have these resources. That means in the e-library, we have books, publications, projects, thesis, dissertation, customized teaching materials, and the policy documents. Within the MOOC side, we have video lectures, presentation slides, sample exams, and assignments, and as well as grade recordings. So what we do there, we try to have an e-library uh, in user portal. Users deposit new resources, users search and access resources by subject, author, publication date, resource, and so on and so forth. How we, we are going to administer webs like and import external repositories such as public universities. We have uh, currently 36 universities in Ethiopia and I think it, Ethernet, uh, they have a connection with, for, with all these universities. So, uh, so as to share resources each other e library is mandatory and uh, the course platform this is national mock platform uh, if you have this mock student can access practice exam submit assignments student view their grades student discuss in forums uh, grade linked to the student information system and the recording uh, users have access to e library resources student have access to their registered courses this all motivated us to do this. Uh, course platform, this one. Authorization and authentication. I think uh, f the future gateway will avoid this plagiarism. Ch plagiarism check. I mean, we can check the plagiarism exam check. Updates the system, latest student grades. And these all are what we propose from the G library, from E library, and also provide service to access the existing data collection 
create new ones and rectify possible and this and the others. Uh, what we have the input, we have, co we have collect organized content, either as collection or course-related materials, identify content and link to its origin, and reduce based on story and suffering. Then output, we have search document and access easily, explore document in different formats, course follow and achieve measures, project IP, right end, right plagiarism, and protect policy making. Uh, so this is a, the Ethernet open access repository, how it is done. Uh, it is done by SciGuy technical team, and I and Yosef, especially Yosef. He adopted it, actually, into Ethiopian uh, consumption, and server and required service up update and running. Uh, it is, as I mentioned, it's done by Ethiopian team by Yosef. Team of web portal is customized. We customized the, what the Sci guy have and search and submit events accessed and mo modified and web content accessed and modified. This is what we have done in Legos. Uh, this is, for example, a sample I think Roberto showed you before. The, here we have, for example, e-books, e-journals, e-images, theses, dissertations, projects, and Ethernet presentations. Like different kind of poster presentations are uh, included here. And we have here also the IOD, the about the authors and stuff, open access repository. And here is the DOI. For example, here, books, thesis, presentation, soft, softwares, actually. Uh, th this is the code which we used. And the other, this is the mock. The mock also done by SciGa technical team. Uh, and we adopted it into Ethiopian. Required service up and uh, running. Sample courses are added. Actually, not much courses, but two or two courses of Yosef's are added here. This is object oriented program Java, which is done by Yosef in Amharic. This is his course. Uh, what is the result then? The, uh, as I mentioned before, visibility is very, I mean, less in Ethiopia. So it, it betters visibility of research works on, on web and one stop search with regarding MOOC, massive open, uh, 36 public universities, and, and more than 36 actually. Now it becomes 42. I'm, all of them will get the access. Facilitate distance learnings between uh, and students can prepare themselves before even coming to the class. If one once we have even mock, even a pre preparatory graduate can have the access about computers as if they wish, or if they wish economics, they they can have the access and they can see <coughs> what what is economics is about. Result: the other future gateway space in the G library exchange experience sharing with. Participants, there was more than 31, I think, participants there. And Nigerian food, culture, and the weather, these all are there. Uh, what is the future plan? Th there will be a complete Ethernet content, host on Internet data center, assist other implementers. Actually, uh, Lagos State University, uh, when we present our uh, use case, they were fascinated to be assisted by us, not by me, but by Yosef to do uh, in the same way wha what we did and train how to use custom and update. Here uh, we have intended to, to organize a kind of session. Actually, one of the session I, I thought was here because there are, we have, we, we started actually connection with 32, 32 universities and we wrote a letter for them. And from each university, at least one from the IT one from library who are working on this area will come and take this uh, opportunity first. They will attend. The, uh, we intended to attend this one. I don't know why the, we stopped it, uh, but we have the, the, this idea. And after that, Yosef will train them to do it, to have uh, one server together, that means. Uh, this is all. Uh, this is Professor Roberto who helped us to do those cases by uh, contact, contacting by emails and as well as Skype. And she's Rita, she was not there actually at the Lagos, but she was helping us uh, by uh, Skype again. Bruce, yesterday who presented first, 
Actually, he speaks very nice English, but uh, at the moment, uh, the network's problem, I mean. Uh, his, uh, his speech wasn't that much visible, and very cool guy, Mario, he was helping us very differently. This is Omo, he's from EcoConnects. Uh, Own, uh, no, Omo is Wakran. Uh, Own is EcoConnect. Professor Benjamin, he's one of the champions in the Catania's Hackfest in Nigeria. This is all. Thank you. <laughs>